is a chance to debate with you. Create an open forum where these battle rappers can 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 fucking challenge what you saying about them. You won't even do that, bro. Because you're a coward, bro. You're a fucking coward, bro. You are a coward. And that's real. You are a coward, bro. I know a coward when I you and DNA Tooth are 1A and 1B. Y'all the same nigga. Y'all two bitch ass niggas. Y'all cowards, bro. Y'all hide behind cameras, bro. Hate me that much, then I'd rather die. Ask me nobody on and Some people just tell better lies. Truthfully, I'm the better guy. Got this little light in me, but I feel like I never shine. Pray to God that I never die. Make the dumbest decisions, but I feel like forever wild. Fuck it is, man. It's big L's in this bitch, you heard me. It's this nigga mad or no. For real, bro. A depth. Is you mad or no? Real quick, bro, because you about to get straight to the beans and rice, you feel me? You about to get straight to it. I'm about to give y'all something to talk about, you heard me. Real shit, I'm about to give you niggas something to talk about. Let the record show that this is not a safe place. The truth is out here. All my words got squatter rights, bro. It's time to really expose a debt, bro. Like, I'm about to really expose you, bro. You spend all this time talking about people, criticizing battle rappers, making wild accusations about them, questioning that manhood. Now it's time for you to get a dose of your own medicine, bro. Let's see if you like how it feel. Like, cause I'm about to, yo, know, your whole question, your whole character is in question, bro. Real shit, bro. Real shit. You feel me? Now, the sad part is this, man. We're gonna keep it a bang with you. The sad part is, you got, you, you really got a following of gullible people, bro. Like, let's just keep it a bang, bro. Like, you got a following of gullible people. People who believe shit just because it sound intelligent. See, Adept sound very intelligent. He sounds educated. He sounds like he knows what he's talking about, bro. But for those with discernment, you know, those who do that due diligence, those who actually use their phone to research and not just look at dumb shit, like, you see, like, most of the time, like, the nigga just be reaching. You feel me? The nigga just be reaching. Now, you can try to make it seem as if I'm doing all of this because I I have some kind of goal to protect the homosexuality community. When in all reality, I just don't agree with what you say. <laughs> I'm just not a dumb nigga. Like, I actually do research. You feel me? I actually study. Like, I don't just listen to what a person say and just believe them. Like, no, that's your fan base. That's your... Your community, you feel me? That's the people that are subscribed to you, not me. I got, listen, bro, I got notes and all that, bro. You feel me? Like, man, it's, it's the blind leading a blind, bro. Let's just keep it a big, bro. It's the blind leading a blind. And you're very entertaining. Wait, we go just go keep it a big. You're very entertaining. So it makes it easier to believe you, bro. It makes what you say more believable because you're very entertaining. It makes it more digestible. You feel like I'm on to you, bro. But no more time to waste, bro. Let's get into it, man. All right, so, bro, after doing some research, and not even just doing research, I be remembering, like, the videos niggas be putting out, bro, even going two years back. Like, bro, you made a lot of false accusations, bro. We gonna get into some of them, you feel me? But there is a, bro, there is a long list of false accusations made by you, bro. We just gonna keep it a bean, bro. Like, you say a lot of shit for shop value, bro. And niggas react. I, that, like, that be, I feel like that's your intention. Say some outlandish shit. Get the people to react, bro. Feel me? Nice little smooth one-two punch. Say something crazy, the people react. Feel me? Like, let's get into some of them. All right. 
You said twerk faked his accident. Now remember that, bro? You said New Jersey twerk faked his car accident, bro. I made a video about that too. A while when I, when, it first, when you first released that video, I made a response video like, bro, you are disrespectful, bro. You gotta stop what you're doing. Like, what? That nigga was really in a life, bro, he was really in a life-threatening situation, bro. Nigga could have really lost his life. And you playing with the situation. Talking about he faked his accident. Right? Now, I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, Twerk must just, like, he just must, even at the time, like, he had to be this, this very important person. Like, he had to be extremely popular. Like, he had to be a millionaire. Like, a nigga of some substance. Because he had, he obviously, according to you, had the whole hospital in Cools with him. Even a police department, because there was police reports uh, made. Right? Police arrived on the scene of the car accident. Remember, he was saying he had to, uh, didn't he say he had to get away from his car because he had a gun in there or something like that? Like, So if we're going to subscribe to your theory, right, or your, your, you know, your claim that he, he faked his action, I mean, the, the, the doctors in cools with him, the nurses, you feel me? Like every, like, no, bro, no, no. It didn't make sense then, it don't make sense now. But these are the type of claims you make. These are, this is the type of shit you be saying, bro. That's one of them. You said twerk faked his action. Okay. You also, you said surf did some gay shit. For promo from Baines, from Benny Siegel. In all these videos, like you can you can go back to these videos. He made these are actual videos that were made by um Shorty. So it's not just I'm not just quoting something. These are actual videos. Okay? Once again, you said surf did some gay shit for promo, bro. Another claim you cannot prove. Why? Because the nigga was in the video, it was like a short snippet, the nigga was in the video talking about how uh, he ain't never had to pay for a feature, or he ain't never had to pay for promo, niggas respect his sword. Pause. Now, a nigga like you, who brain is just programmed to just, like you just, a, you're a real conspiracy theorist, bro. Theorist, bro, you are literally like the true embodiment of a conspiracy theorist. You see something? Like, you can see a situation and you will add suspicion to it, bro. It could be really nothing going on there, but you will add suspicion. You will take something this small and make it big. So I'll look at you like you a conspiracy theorist, bro. The nigga said they respect his sword, bro. Talking about his pen. It's a metaphor. You're into battle rap, right? You're a fan of battle rap. You don't understand metaphors. He was not talking about his penis, bro. But a gay nigga like you, your mind automatically goes there, bro. And that's what irks me about you, bro. That's why I said, like, you're so obsessed with homosexuality. Because you hear shit and your brain automatically registers something gay. You feel me? But you said that, right? You said he did some gay shit because he spoke on these, 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 these his celebrity friends and, you know, his, his, his industry peers respecting his sword. His pen, bro. Okay. Boom. What else? Oh, you said Pat Stay was sacrificed, bro. You said Pat Stay was sacrificed by the URL. He's not even a URL battle rapper. Like, that's number one. He's not even a URL battle rapper. But he was sacrificed by the URL. Two, he was sacrificed, but nobody benefited from his death. Who benefited from his death, bro? Usually when there's a blood sacrifice, there was there, there is a tremendous benefit, bro. People benefit tremendously, forgive me. Some, someone benefits tremendously from the, the death of this person, bro. Nobody benefited from this man dying, bro. You feel me? That's one. I'll give you another one. B dot. You said. B dot was Pan African, so he's already in a cult. Insinuating that if you're a Pan African, you're in a cult. And I'm going down this list to show y'all how he just say shit. And if you're not in the know, if you don't know what he's talking about, 
is is easy for you to be swayed, bro. He will trick you, bro, because of how he deliver it, because of how entertaining he may be. The nigga said B dot is in a cult because he's pan African, bro. But I guess you're right. I, I I guess you're right, bro. Do you know what the word cult means? I mean, because we can go to the etymology dictionary. Matter of fact, I might go to it, screenshot it, and post it in this video, bro. The word cult means to worship. You niggas take, like, everything is not spooky, bro. God, I hate you spooky ass niggas. Oh, he's in a cult. Ooh, like, bro, the word cult literally means to worship. So anybody who's in a religion, by definition, is in a cult. The word cult means to worship, bro. The word pan means all. So somebody that's a pan-African, it pretty much means they, su they support anything that's African, that's of Africa, that has something to do with, you know, their people or their region or their continent. Or, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's what pan means. Pan means all. So how do you automatically say he's in a cult because he's pan-African? That's disrespectful to anybody who is pan-African. But let's continue. You also said Kwame Brown. Now this was, oh my God, if this ain't a reach, I don't know what a reach is. The nigga said Kwame Brown was defending Masonry. Go to the clip, bro. Go to the clip, bro. Play the clip, bro. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to play the clip. It's like 30 seconds. And y'all tell me if he was defending masonry, bro. I'm going to give you a synopsis of what happened. The clip he played, somebody was in the comment section uh, kept asking him uh, uh, how he feel about masonry or if he was a mason. He, he said, bro, I told y'all I'm not in no group. I'm not a part of no group. You feel me? But why does it matter? When your president is a Mason, I don't have nothing against Masons, but I'm not a part of it. And according to Adept, that was defending Masonry. Even you dumb as shit, or you just doing shit for shock value, or you just reaching, bro. It's not rocket science. It's common sense. He was proving, he was showing them how they was hypocrites. You asking me if I'm a Mason, as if something is wrong with being a Mason, but yet y'all support your president, and he's clearly a Mason. It's public knowledge. So if something was really wrong with being a Mason, why the fuck do you support your current president? Or any president that's sat in that chair? Or who, or who was in office? So he was showing them how they was hypocrites, whoever the person was that kept leaving that comment. But you see how it takes, you see how Adept will take something and make it bigger than what it really is. This is what he does, bro. This is what he does, bro. That's why you gotta be put on the grill. That's why you gotta be put on the spot, bro. It, it's holes in the majority of everything you say, bro. You just say shit. You feel me? That shit is crazy, bro. Like, all you got to do is do some research, bro. The nigga be saying shit for shop value, bro. It's the blindly in a blind. But his followers, they, they, don't, they just take what he say at face value, bro. They just believe anything he's, anything he say, they believe it, bro. They laugh at it and they believe it, bro. Stop what you're doing, bro. You niggas need to stop being gullible, bro. Stop being gullible. You niggas need to do your own research. That's the problem, bro. That's the problem. You or your... I ain't gonna say you, because I think you do a lot of Googles. Like, it's not that you're intelligent, bro. You do a lot of Google searches, bro. And you, re, you regurgitate the shit you read online, the shit you see in other documentaries about the music industry and the Illuminati. You just regurgitate shit. So you sound like you know what you're talking about, but you really don't because you don't apply common sense to nothing you say, bro. You don't apply logic to nothing you say. You know, you, you have something, you're like, oh, this shit, this is, this is, you know what I mean? You, you, you know it's going to make people react. You're going to say it in such a way where it's going to sound believable. And, and that's just what you, you run with that, bro. You don't care if it's real or not. As long as you can make it appear to be real to the people. To your followers. To your subscribers, bro. You're fake, bro. You're worse than a church pastor, bro. That's what you, that's what you remind me of. You remind me of a church pastor, bro. And, and the people that subscribe to you are like blind sheep, bro. Like the motherfuckers that sit in the congregation. They don't never read the Bible for themselves. They don't never cross-reference 
cross reference anything that's being said. They don't pull up the scriptures when the, the, the pastor asks them to go to it. Like, they, they just dumb as shit. And speaking of a church pastor, right? What I say, I said your character is in question, right? Bro, you a Jesus freak, bro. Let's just keep it a bean, bro. A Jesus freak could never say anything to me, bro. Like, no, bro. Like, you're a Jesus freak. Let's really talk about it, bro. You are a Jesus freak, bro. You always talking about people being gay and Beasley's fun house and this person getting fucked and that person getting fucked. Bro, you worship a white man, bro. A gay white man at that, bro. Caesar Borgia, bro. Let's talk about it, bro. Let's talk about it, bro. You worship a gay white man. Anybody that's in Christianity, bro, y'all worship a white gay man. Fuck are you talking about? Show me one scripture in the Bible where it described who y'all call Jesus as being a white boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's why I could never, bro, that's why I could never follow Christianity, bro. You don't even know what the word Christian mean. What does the word Christian mean? Do you know? I know more about your religion. Than, do, what does the word Christian mean, bro? Do you know? You don't know. You don't know the word Christian. The, word, the root word of Christian is Christ. Which that goes back to the Hebrew word Mashiach. Okay. Christ is not an English word. English is, is the last language to be created. The English stole from everybody. Like, it's a Hebrew word. Mashiach. It's how you say it in Hebrew. Ancient Hebrew, not Yiddish. Not the shit the Jewish people speak. I'm talking about Paleo Hebrew. It's Mashiach and it means anointed. So if you're a Christian, that means you're an anointed one. Who anointed you? Who anointed you? That's one. Two, if you're going to be a follower of something, that you spending all your time researching gay shit in the Illuminati, you need to be researching the religion you're a part of, bro. You worship a gay white man, bro. Do your research on Caesar Borgia. He was a fucking faggot, nigga. You battle truth from a fan's point of view. All you niggas, y'all Jesus freaks, bro. You niggas are Jesus freaks. The most dumbest people in the world. The most hypocritical people in the world, bro. Blind. But you got a nerve to call somebody gay. But you worship a gay white man. See what else we got on these doors. Cause you just a fucking bug out, bro. And and, and I don't res and that's why I, that's part of the reason why I don't respect you as a man, bro. Like, I just don't respect you as a man, bro. To me, you're not a thorough man, bro. You're, you're like you're not, bro. You make claims over the internet, bro, that you don't back up. And by back up, I mean you don't really do no legitimate research, bro. Because if you actually did legitimate research, you wouldn't come out your mouth saying most of the shit you say. You're willing to say a bunch of shit and make all kinds of claims without any proof, bro. Without any proof at all. And last but not least, because this is the most powerful one. You're not even mad enough to give these battle rappers a chance to approach you. To give them a chance to check you. Because you do all this over the internet, you're never going to come to an event. You already got beat up by no mercy. You thought that man was, a, you, like, you thought she was sweet going to his house and disrespecting his wife. Like, real men, look at fuck how ugly you think a nigga bitch is, bro. Definitely if you got a wife. You got a woman. So, you treat people the way you want to be treated. You respect people the way you want them to respect you, bro. You don't do things to people that you want people to, that you wouldn't want people to do to you. That's in the Bible, right? You're a Christian, aren't you? Right? You don't read your book. Do unto people as you would have them do unto you. You wouldn't want nobody disrespecting your wife. Give a fuck how pretty you think she is or whatever, bro. 
You wouldn't want nobody disrespecting your wife. But yet you got on the internet disrespecting this man's wife. Why? Because you thought that you could get away with it. You thought he was a bitch. You thought, I'm going to disrespect his wife. He ain't going to do nothing. And if he do attempt to do something, I'll beat the shit out of him. That's not real. That means you got a motive. That means if, if, you, if, you, if you happen to have an issue with a nigga that you know is thorough, that you know is not a bitch, and you know is going to slap the shit out of you or shoot you, you're not going to do certain things because you know you're not going to be able to get away with it. You know you're going to be held accountable, but you didn't think he was going to be held accountable with no mercy. So you disrespected him and you disrespected his wife. You, you made visits to his house. You did all kinds of bitch ass shit that you would not do to a quote unquote real nigga. To a nigga that you know will push your shit back that will slap the shit out of you. You did it because you thought he was a bitch. So that, that says what kind of nigga you is. You, you're the type of nigga that pick on the weak. You're a bitch. You are a bitch. You are the type of nigga that will pick on the weak, bro. You are a bitch. Show up to an event. Give niggas a chance to debate with you. Create an open forum where these battle rappers can, 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 can fucking challenge what you're saying about them. You won't even do that, bro. Because you're a coward, bro. You're a fucking coward, bro. You are a coward. And that's real. You are a coward, bro. I know a coward when I, you and DNA Tooth are 1A and 1B. Y'all the same nigga. Y'all two bitch ass niggas. Y'all cowards, bro. Y'all hide behind cameras, bro. Fuck out of here. That's why y'all so extreme. Because you know you'll never show up to an event. You know you will never say the, uh, the majority of the shit you say over the internet to people's faces, bro. You's a bitch, nigga. But let's keep going, bro. I don't respect you as a man, bro. You support pedophiles and fucking bug outs, bro. It's been proven that battle truth was having sex with younger women, bro. Women in his life have attest to this, bro. You still fuck with him. You support him. But got a nerve to try to flame Chris and Bias, but you support battle truth. From a fan's point of view, that nigga is a bug out. He's a straight bug out. He's a bug out, bro. Talking about he a Christian and he's a fucking bug out. That nigga is a bug out, bro. He's irrelevant. Like, he's... You fuck with him. You support pedophiles and bug outs. Because birds are the same feather flock together. You, all you niggas is one and the same, bro. A bunch of dumbass, goofy ass niggas who do shit over the internet for shock value. Just saying, bro. I'm just saying, bro. You feel me? Like, and in closing, and in closing, what have you done for your beliefs, bro? Because we not the same. I told you that in the last video. The last video was just to address uh, the shit you were saying about me. You feel me? I just couldn't let just let that. I couldn't. No, I just couldn't let you just get away with that. I had to address and you know rectify some of the things you were saying. But this video was really like to expose you, bro. Like, what have you done for your beliefs, bro? What have you done for your beliefs besides talk on the internet and claim to be a Christian and talk about Jesus? This and you so smart, but. You don't know that the fucking letter J didn't come about to what? The 15th, 16th century? It's the oldest alphabet. But yeah, you still running around calling this nigga Jesus and being a Jesus freak. You so intelligent, though. You so smart, though. What have you done for your beliefs, bro? Because I know I've almost been locked up for my beliefs. I done had more than five channels terminated for my beliefs. I done caught citations, had police rating me citations because of my beliefs. I done almost start riots over my beliefs. I done fell out with family, friends, all kinds of shit over my beliefs. I done put in time, work, blood, sweat, and tears for my beliefs. What have you done? And I'm only bringing that up to show that we two different men, bro. You've done nothing for your beliefs. Nothing. What do you stand for? Nothing. You's a bitch, nigga. What you mad enough?